Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Today we're interviewing Jake Kazdal of 17-Bit Studios, makers of Skulls of the Shogun. Jake, how did you end up in game development? I um, have been playing games my whole life. Um, my dad had a pizza parlor when I was a little kid. And I used to play all the arcade games you know, the whole time I was growing up. I started Nintendo as a game counselor in high school, so that was in the late 80s. Um, played all the N Nintendo games, all the NES games, and I was you know, on the phones helping people out. Um, which led into a lot of contacts and stuff, and I eventually got into production in uh, 1996 as an artist. Nice. Okay, and uh, what, are, what are some of your favorite games? Favorite games? Um, Super Nintendo stuff is obviously a huge inspiration for me. Um, you know, Zelda, Metroid, kind of all the traditional Nintendo stuff. Um, huge Fire Emblem and Advance Wars fan. Uh, Shining Force on Genesis. Um, Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I love all the classics, you know, Wipeout, F-Zero, Street Fighter. Kind of mm, yesteryear gaming, I guess. I kind of feel like I'm more of a fan of the older stuff. I think, you know, the 2D games is kind of where it really hit its peak for me personally. One folklore element I haven't seen in the game is the frog-like kappa. Are there any in there? There were supposed to be. We were, you know, they were in early drafts of the, of the ideas. Um, they were going to be a water-based unit, obviously. Uh, there was a bunch of gods that we didn't get to do. The Tanuki doesn't get a chance to be in here. He was also sort of written in the monkey. If we ever do a sequel, we got plenty of ideas. So, when did you s decide to bring skulls to multiple platforms? Uh, fairly early on, uh, it was before the Windows Eight or the Windows Seven phone was announced. Uh, it actually started life as an iPhone game, but that didn't last briefly. You know, lead engineer Baruch was much more of a Windows guy, and he didn't like uh, dealing with the Mac stuff. So pretty quickly we decided to do an Xbox version, and then the Windows Phone stuff came along, you know, right behind that. Um, and we would have shipped earlier, but then uh, Windows 8 was coming out, and Microsoft was interested in having this as a launch title. And so we, uh, you know, we decided to do a Windows 8 version, um, you know, which added a lot of things, you know, a lot more time, a lot more, uh, we had to pay a lot more attention to the UI. We've, you know, created three completely separate UIs. Spent a lot more time and effort put into the project now, but we're going to launch on three platforms, so that's also really good. So, will it be an Apollo or a Mango game? Uh, it will be a Mango game. Seven point five. Yeah, so it'll run on Apollo as well, but it'll also run on seven point five. Okay. Well, one of the game's cool features is Skulls Anywhere. How does that work? Skulls Anywhere is just what it sounds like. You can just basically start up a game where the first Microsoft, you know, title, first party title to support cross-platform gaming. And uh, we're also the first Xbox game to do asynchronous gaming. So basically with Skulls Anywhere, it doesn't matter what hardware you're playing on, you sign into Xbox Live, you start a multiplayer game, you invite your friends, and you can just take turns, and somebody can be on Windows 8, somebody can be on the phone, and somebody can be on Xbox, it doesn't matter. Recently, we've seen some third-party Windows Phone games with super slow and buggy online features. Has it been a challenge getting the online multiplayer to work well in your title? Uh, it has. Um, the lead. Well, you know, the lead engineers, both engineers, are very dedicated and very intelligent and uh, refuse to give up. And uh, performance has been getting better and better, but it's up to a point now we're very happy with it. So it's been a lot of hard work. But... Looking to the future, have you decided on your next project after Skulls is completed? Uh, we've been pretty fully focused on Skulls. I mean, we've all got ideas for stuff we want to do. Um, Baruch, in particular, has already got an idea that he's been wanting to get onto since we started Skulls. So I, he, he wants to do that for sure. Uh, but no, nothing to speak of yet. Okay, and development on Skulls wraps pretty soon, is that correct? Pretty soon. Um, I am the art director and the creative director, and I'm basically going to be locked out at the end of this week. So I'm putting on the very, very final touches of the maps here. Um, just making sure every blade of grass is in the right place, and every tree is at just the right angle, and everything plays well. Um, so I've been playing a lot, looking at this a lot lately, but yeah, almost done. Nice. And when is the game expected to launch? We're shooting for the Windows 8 launch, which is October 26th. Um, we believe we'll be right in that window. If we don't make the first day, it should be within the first week or two. But we're, we're shooting for day one. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thanks for coming.